Y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning. Listen, we got something different today. I got a pickup, right? I'm not even gonna tell y'all where it's at, man. I just, I just say this. All them boys that be running hot shots, right? This is number one brand trailer. Besides the uh, big Diamond C. Let me say that. Besides Diamond C, this is a big brand trailer. I'm not gonna say that name. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna go pick up. It's supposed to be four or five pallets that weigh 2,900 pounds, 26 foot long. Um, headed to Georgia. That get me back to the south, so I'm a little excited about that as well. But I'm oh, man, I'm just so excited to pick up from these people. Hopefully they let me talk about trailers, about which one is better, this and this, this and that. Comparing this, comparing that, you know what I mean? Hopefully let me do that, but I'm so excited, man, just to go to this place and actually be a, and go contribute to what they got going on. You know what I mean? So like I said, man, y'all stay tuned for that. I'll be, I'll be there about an hour, finish doing my pre-trip, go get something to drink, go get some coconut water, brush my teeth and stuff like that. And then we're gonna hit the road, man. Y'all stay tuned for that, man. Don't miss out on this. Y'all, so we're pulling up to the big, t I almost said it. I almost said it. Listen, we pulling up to the building right now. I got 0.7 miles to go to get there. Right, this log going to Cardell, Georgia. If I could get a partial to add on to this, this is a great pin load. Plus, I can make a crazy video for y'all once I get to that place. Y'all stay tuned for that now. Y'all stay tuned for that. But nah, man, I'm headed back south been a long month man dealing with winter dealing with warm weather then cold weather warm weather cold weather temperature go up a little bit temperature go down it's been crazy but you can't complain when you're out here trying to make money you got to know why you out here and know the reason why you're doing what you're doing so that being said i ain't gonna bore y'all i'm not gonna bore y'all I'm, I'm gonna show y'all where we going As y'all can see, this is where we're going. Bro, look how many trailers they got out there. That's insane, man. But we at the Big Tex compound, one of their compounds, picking up some parts, I guess. Taking it to Cordell to the other Big Tex. So y'all can see both. I'm gonna get I'm gonna try to get these people opinion on hot shot trailers, plus the ones in Cordell. So let's just stay tuned for that. But man, look. PJ trailers, little car trailers, uh, land trailers, like like for lawnmowers, land staping services. I don't see no hot shot trailer yet, but man, they got a, a whole yard full of trailers. Look at this, man, this is insane. I'm gonna wind down the window a little bit. Bro, this is insane, man. A whole yard dedicated to none but trailers. I guess now we transition into the landscaping. Maybe they got the hot shot trailers in another yard or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they got, like I was saying, they got the hot shot trailers in the y another yard or something. But I know I'm finna try to check in and see what they want me to do. See if they let me film. And uh, just try to get some information from them. Let's see what happens. Y'all, so here's the thing. They gonna talk to their boss and see if they let me film for my YouTube channel. She thought I was gonna work here. I was like, nah, no man, it's just, you never know when you're gonna pick up from Big Tex. Big Tex is Big Tex, right? If you a hot shot at everybody love Big Tex, even if you even if you do landscaping, everybody Big Tex, I got a 40 gen, 30 gen, whatever they gens is. So it's like, all right, if I could go in and actually record, man, it'd be crazy. So hopefully they let me that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Like that, like I said, she said she's going to talk to the boss. I could talk to this guy here, see what he's talking about. If he says yes, I'm going to give you all a tour. If he say, All he could do is say no. All he could do is say yes. Either way it go, I'm still picking up this load. So <sighs> Let's see how it goes. Y'all, they got this truck ready to go out. Look at this, man. It's crazy all the way. 
I gotta see if they let me film, but this is where they make the trailers at. Bro, it's crazy. Got this. Hopefully they give me a tour, man. So I'm at the parts department, right? Hopefully they let me go to the other side. Y'all should have seen the other side. I tried to do a little video of it without trying to get caught because I didn't have the approval yet. But this side is ain't nothing but metal and wheel seals and stuff like that. But just having this experience is still crazy, man. But if I don't if I don't get a tour of this place, I'm gonna try to get a tour of the place that I drop off at. Why my lips be so white? God damn. But um man, I'm telling y'all, man, this is a great day. This is a great day. This is one in a million. Let's get loaded. They said all I gotta do is back up the door four, and they finna go ahead and and uh get me in as soon as I back in there. Let's see how long that take. First try. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, and I'm only gonna look at one side. I ain't playing. Watch this. Oh. Yo, this is what I do. Stop playing. Look, they already opening the gate. Y'all see it in the back. Stop playing. Watch this. Yo. But they don't sponsor me. But y'all need to get you some of these. Because I had my water tolerance. It was too high. I drunk too much water. Not enough electrolyte. And it had my body aching. But it is what it is. But y'all need to drink this right here. I'm telling y'all, man. But let's see what they say if they gonna let me. Y'all, so I'm just not leaving Big Tex, right? I didn't film because we couldn't find the people in time for them to give me a tour. So hopefully when I get to Cordell, Georgia, which is where this is going, they'll let me film. I'm right now waiting on my dispatcher to call me back with a partial. Because this long pay good is only 3,000 pounds. Literally what it was was two skids, a crate, and uh, two, two pieces of angle, Two bundles of angle let me say and one little thick um angle pieces well not even angle channel pieces they cut them some little pieces i guess they go for the axles of the trailer but and then i got a call as well that i had to handle with my driver that's why i didn't really film but like i said it's not that much it's literally only weigh three thousand pounds taking up maybe 15 foot of space if i would have condensed everything i probably could have got more out of it but What's the point of condensing everything when I don't know what I'm picking up? You know what I mean? And I don't want everything around on my truck axle when I don't really know what I'm picking up. So if he does if he don't find me a load, the way I got it stacked, the way I got it put is good still. But if he does find me a load, if he do, if he does find me one, right? We still good because I still have 15 foot of deck space. Plus, I got 10,000 pounds to play with since it's only weighed 3,000. So waiting on him. I'm going to get back with y'all when I know something. Y'all, we ain't getting another load. We're not getting another load going to Georgia. I guess the market's trash, right? So here's the game plan. We got to switch it up. That's why you always got to move on the fly, have things in motion. We're going to drop this off in Georgia tomorrow morning, early morning, probably like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, whenever they open up, probably 8 then we're going to come back, go pick up another load, because we're going to be in Georgia. Pick up another load, take that all the way down to another partial. Y'all thought I was going to say down to Florida, another partial. Then bounce that back up with another load. So that's two loads headed to Florida. That's the game plan. Y'all, let's see what happens. Yeah. Stay tuned, man. That's it. That's all I can say. Y'all. So listen, I just made it to Georgia, right? I'm about three hours away from the place. 
I'm gonna wake up, bro, by six, get there by nine. I got another load going to South Carolina, which was supposed to be a partial for the day. Told y'all I'm gonna keep y'all updated. So instead of doing that partial, I drop off tomorrow, pick up tomorrow, get to South Carolina tomorrow. All this is in one day now. Drop off on Thursday, pick up Thursday, be home by Friday. Y'all stay tuned, man. And like I said, I'm gonna try to give y'all a tour. Hopefully it goes through. We'll just wait on them and see what they say. Y'all, good morning, good morning. Listen, I've been on the road since 620, it's 845 now. It was dark, plus we came through some rain. But check this out, man. I woke up this morning, it wasn't 19 degrees, it wasn't 20 degrees, it wasn't 30 degrees. I woke up this morning to a whopping 52 degrees. Man, I stepped outside of the truck with no, with, with no jacket on. I said, ooh, hoo, hoo. Hey, boy, I tell you what, that boy's good to be back in the South, man. Hey, listen, I enjoy making money. I enjoy what the Midwest done for me. But, boy, they be having some winter, uh, some brutal winners, man. They winners be so brutal, man. That's not, it ain't even funny. You go up there, everything be nice, sunny, just like it is now. Next day, you know, you're in the middle of a snowstorm. Make sure y'all do y'all maintenance before y'all go up there, man. That's another thing I forgot to mention. Make sure your tires up to date. Make sure your oil's up to date in the in the in the, uh, the seals. Make sure your truck maintenance up to date, so you ain't gotta get down on the ground and try to do that in the snow. Make sure all your straps. Make sure every component that move on your trailer is greased. And make sure you got money to stop when you gotta wash that that salt off. But boy, I got dog. But nah, man, I'm headed over here. Like I said, um, hopefully they let me go ahead and do a tour of their building. I'm um hour away from them. I should be there within an hour. Drop this off. If they let me do a tour, I'm happy with it. Hopefully that's good content for y'all. But if not, I'm okay with it because I got another load going to South Carolina that I need to pick up in Valdosta, which is an hour away from where I'm at now. So when I get to Valdosta, I believe it's five hours from there to South Carolina. So I should make it to South Carolina today. So drop off today, pick up today, hopefully drop off today, depending on what time they close. I'm seeing something about four o'clock. I don't know if I'm making it over there before the end. But that's the thing. Then I try to find two partials for tomorrow to drop off Friday, get me to Florida. Y'all stay tuned for this, man. Yo, look at this. Right? So y'all, listen, I wind up bumping it to the boss, right? I didn't show the filming because they didn't really want me to show the filming of them unloading everything. I don't know why. But I guess too many YouTubers or whatever, I'm not that plugged in to get, um, to get it on video but i asked the lady could i film she said no but like i said the boss wound up walking by i thought all hope was lost i thought everything was gone right and i asked him i just it, like it was just a random dude in a in a suit with some boots you know looking sharp so i was like hey i was like hey is it anybody i could talk to to show me around y'all facility you know i hot shot as you can see can you show me your facility and like he hesitated for a moment, right? I was like, oh, he's not gonna be, he not gonna show me. He goes and gets somebody to show me, right? I'm not making this up. He was like, the guy, it was an older gentleman. He was like, man, I know you wanna, I know you wanna talk, I know you wanna have a woman to escort you, this and that. Plus, they look better than me. Right? So this lady come, shout out to this lady. She came out of her office, right? And she gave me a tour of the facility. Bro, it's like an assembly line. It's crazy. You see the trailer go from metal that I hauled here, like scrap metal, to where they start welded, welding it, and then it started forming itself up, right? Oh, I got a bump right here. Oh, yeah, no. But it started, it started forming itself into a trailer, right? Once it leaves there, it goes into the storage area. Once it leaves the storage area, it goes into sandblasting. Sandblasting then goes into washing it, washing all the sandblasting off of it, and then it go to painting. And the painting is like it's like two guys in there painting it, which is crazy. 
then it goes to a heater. Once it goes to a heater, it goes, it dries the paint off. And if they need to do it again, they bring it back, right? Then the trailer go to the other side and they start putting axles and stuff like that on and decals all around it. Bro, it's a really a whole assembly line. I wish I could have recorded for y'all, but when she said they don't do it anymore, I even tried saying this for my business partner. She was like, no, you can't do it. We can't do it anymore. I was like, I understand. I, I didn't even try to ask anymore. But just seeing a trailer go from scratch to forming, then to the wood, then to the wiring, then with the axles, the stickers, then they go out outside to sit until somebody buy them. It's a crazy process to watch, man. And that's what I really wanted to see. I wanted to see how and how long it takes to make a hot shot trailer. And man, when I say I was, I was shocked because they was doing it. They was painting two or three trailers at a time. Not singly at a time, but like one to go in. Soon as that one get done, they bring it in another. It wasn't like they was there all day. You know what I mean? And it was, man, it was just mind boggling, man. Just to see the, the, the process of that. And, um, like I said, the lady, the lady was nice. She showed me around the facility. She showed me where she used to work at. And it's crazy that the trailer people got hit just as well when the economy went down. She was telling me they was doing 90 trailers a day. It went from 90 trailers a day to 24. And that when she first started, it was getting like 50 hours or more, over 50 hours or more. But now they're getting 40. And they had a layoff. They laid off like 200 people. And it's I'm like, I mean, like, we were literally walking and talking and she telling me this, right? And it's like, bro, I feel bad for you. Like, I like, not her, I don't feel bad for her per se because she still have her job. But think about the people that lost their job, man. Think about the people that, that they, they family was depending on that. And um, it's just sad. It's just sad, man. But they, they, they lovely people over here in Cordell. Just for them to even give me that opportunity. Because like I say, I'm not even plugged in. It wasn't even supposed to be scheduled. I was just literally unloaded, you know. And I was like, hey, can I do this? And I wound up talking to a guy that was there too. Hopefully see this or whatever. And I gave him some game about the hot shot, you know, because he he got he's tired of working at big techs and and um, he want to make money on his own. I told him, I said, bro, it's money out here, you know. But I also told him about when I first came out here. A lot of people don't know that because I didn't film that when I first came out here, and I went straight to Pennsylvania. I had nothing. I had no clothes, no cover, no nothing. I left everything at the house and came out here. I said, bro, that was hard, bro. But at the same time, I knew what I wanted. I knew what my end goal was. So I had to keep going. But it was days where I had nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I told him that. But I said, bro, once you realize what area you want to run and how you want to run it, the money is out here. And I told him, I said, look, man, if I was you, I would go to the Midwest. I go to the Midwest because they, that's where they paying at, you know? But I was just chopping it up with him, giving him a game, man, over the head. And it, it's crazy. I don't care how old you is, right? You always learning, but at the same time, you always teaching as well. Like I was giving this guy game and he was like four, 30, 40 years old. And here I am, I'm still in my twenties. But at the same time, it doesn't matter about the age. It matter about the knowledge. And that's what I be trying to tell people, bro. Don't be selfish, bro. Give people free game. Just like they gave me that free game with that tour and let me see how it was from scratch to, to the actual trailer. Bro, they didn't have to do that. I interfered in their day. So why won't I give 20, 30 minutes out of my day to tell them what's going on about what's out here? If you could better your family, if you could better your family by coming out here, bro, do it by all means. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be hard. No, you're going to have some days where you don't want to do it at all. But those days outweigh, it's outweighed by the good days. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I literally just watched the trailer be made. In 30, 40, 30, 40 seconds, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, nah, I lied. It, it wasn't that soon. It wasn't that soon. But Big Tech, y'all was moving. The tour was probably like 20, 30 minutes. But y'all was moving. In them 20, 30 minutes, what I see, man, listen, 
It made, and I told the lady why she was there. I said, look, this make me want to go buy a big text trailer. Right? But I can't do that to my trailer behind me. That trailer right there, right? Hold on. That trailer right there behind me done made me a lot of money. I can't just do it to her. I just can't do it to her like that. But if I buy another trailer, nine out of ten is gonna be a big text. Right? Knock on wood, that nothing happened to me. But if anything go wrong, I'm getting a big text. Just for them people for Carter Cordell, you know what I mean? Because they put me on game. But yeah, like I was saying though, man. Bro, share your knowledge. Share your knowledge, bro. Don't be selfish out here, man. Wisdom is key. You can't take it to the grave with you. So just share it. So me talking to that dude, it was one of them. Hey, bro, this this is this, bro. This is that, bro. This is life changing. And I was like, bro, it's all legal money. It's all legal money. And just to hear, because the lady told me about the layoff after I talked to the guy. So it was like, I could see, like, it started forming in my head. I see why you saying what you're saying. Like, you get to a point where you do the same thing over and over, over and over, and you become great at that craft, but then you stuck in a bubble, right? And what I mean by that bubble, you stuck on whatever wage that you do. So say you start off at $20 an hour, right? I don't know what their pay schedule was. I don't know. I didn't ask that. It's none of my business. I'm just giving an example. So say you get paid $20 an hour and they say, okay, yeah, we get three raises. Each raise is a dollar. So you start off at $20, right? And you finish off at $23. But now you done been doing that craft for so long and the cost of living going up. So it's like, hey man, it's not paying enough. I put my phone down a little bit because a uh, state trooper passed. But um, I'm looking at the road, so I don't want y'all to say, oh, you keep looking down at your phone. Plus I got you on a tripod, so don't say nothing at all about that. Don't come at me, right? But you get you get to a point where you tired of doing the same thing over and over for the same pay and then things going up, but you're not making enough money to balance that out. So if if you a person, you know you're gonna if you're a person that 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 need to provide for your family, let me say that. If you need to provide for your family, you're gonna look for other income. Bro, if you're willing to stay on the road and sacrifice time to enjoy, enjoy a better life. Bro, why wouldn't you come and truck it? Now, if you don't like sacrificing and you don't like running the road, you don't like being out two or three weeks at a time, bro, don't come into trucking, bro. Trucking is not a part-time job. And I and I told the guy that, bro, I stay out three to four weeks, bro, I come home for a week. Go back out and do the same thing. Right? And he's like, all right, bro, I appreciate the knowledge you're giving me, bro. I appreciate it. And karma is, karma is, an angel when you do good you receive good and that's how i feel like that's how i got that tour of that facility and it wasn't that big it wasn't that big of a facility probably like they well they got they got three or four facilities i went i was in the the part section with a steel yard but then the yard next to me is right where they made the trailer so we literally just had to cross the street but then they had like three other buildings that was on the outskirts what those building was, I don't know, but I could, I seen some uh, semis over there. I guess they was loading them up to ship them out, but they didn't have tires on it. It was just the actual trailer. I guess they going to another big text and they put the tires on at the big text at the other one. I didn't go over there, so I can't speak on that. But that assembly line that I seen y'all, it was outrageous. Like it was, it, it was to a point where like you had to be dumb or are retarded not to understand the assembly like everybody had a key function to do what they doing and that's why i say you had to be done like you literally had the actual place all they worked on was axles you had the sticker place all they worked on was stickers you had the wiring department all you had to work on is wiring like it wasn't like you had to do somebody else's job it wasn't that you had to go out your way and help somebody to keep the, the function going. Everything had a moving part that was according to what they needed to do. And it was just like, you see a team like that, man, it's like, dang, dang, man, like, dang, like, you know what I mean? So it, it, it was just amazing to see, man. It was amazing to see, and, and the young lady, like she, like I said, shout out to her, man. Shout out to her. 
She literally, she literally showed me around the whole place. She showed me where she started from, right? Which was wiring. She showed me that, and 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 to see her level up and to be in the office with AC, because I was over there where the the, the wiring was, and it's right in front of the oven when it comes out. And man, when I say that oven get hot, bro, it was hot, right? And like they got big fins, but you got all the dust particles blowing in your face and stuff like that. Cause I even asked, I said, y'all don't use the fins. She's like, it's dusty. To see her go and be in the office. Shout out to her, shout out to her, right? And like I said, man, it, it was just amazing. Amazing to see the facility from a trailer start from the bottom and go and form into a trailer plus the finished product. Like that, like it's, I'm telling y'all, man, my next trailer gonna be a big text. I'm gonna end it there. Shout out to Big Text. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Tap that screen. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit that bell for notifications. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I could not show y'all the facility. I really wanted to. I really, I really tried. I asked, like I said multiple times, but she said I couldn't. So y'all, I'm sorry for that, but I told y'all what I seen and how it amazed me but man y'all keep them tires bouncing to the next time man love y'all